Добро пожаловать на канал Лали Геймс. Продолжаем наше приключение в Dragon's Догме. И тут у меня случился небольшой факап. Я забыла включить микрофон, когда писала эту серию. Поэтому вы имеете уникальный шанс насладиться прохождением вообще без комментариев. Думала, что, возможно, стоит удалить серию, но все-таки... Для чистоты прохождения она должна быть. Звуки игры слышно, текст появляется, все нормально, но я его не озвучиваю, ну и не комментирую. Прошу понять и простить. Приятного просмотра. My pack's grown rather heavy. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Pray, do not impede me, sir. Well met. Looking to make a purchase? Hope to see you again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Gold is a resource. We've got goblins! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. One of us is coming down to the square! Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Let me get that.
I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell us there's been a shift in the chain of command. We cannot break it from this side. Really? Now? Really? Now? Just yonder. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Out! You are approaching the gates of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. None may pass without the... If you've an entry permit, an invitation, or proof of citizenship, present it now. Nothing to show? Go on then. What do you think you're doing? Troops, surround this road! I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before you and no other 
are the sovereign. The only legit. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you beat the people rejoice. For our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batak following that. She prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray. Visit me a night in the tavern that we might dis- This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Little did I expect to find you here. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Son it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you, if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Cart ought to make our journey easier. 
Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. I've just recalled it. Oi there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. But now I feel prepared to start making trips to only trouble is. There are still monsters about. And that's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day, but I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to... And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That standard, each car travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out on... So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennox. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favour and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Let us see this delivered swiftly and intact. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? If you're in need of a ride, it is now or now. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. Oi, sir! We've started selling that medicine you gave me at our shop. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her... Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it. 
Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off for to you buy. So... Spend away, my good sir. Do come again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. I'll go and open the chest. Even if it should, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Welcome to... We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you... Day to you. The Lord has your name. Let's take it easy today. This can be a lonely life, as I understand. Well, mate, you are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of Respite for you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Much obliged. This inspires naught but me. Give it. 
Well met. You are. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost. Only an unseasoned trader falters in trying times.
Much obliged. What do you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. But those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Curiosity. I have no desire to act, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to, no matter how they fascinate me. It isn't to be. It's good to be busy. Work begins. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality lying on these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths.
Hope to see you again. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Many thanks. I mean, what? Well met, son. How might I be of service? I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. An investment made for safer travels can hardly be called extravagant. Would that I was kept half as busy as I once was. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word.
Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was... So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to procure a weapon. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We shall have to scour high and low. Ain't in the mood to stir up trouble today. What's your problem? The rules at your left. There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. Well met. You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated. You know where to find me. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead.
There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I've oft pondered. The gist of it is... It is a pleasure to meet you. I shall inform you if I learn aught of worth. At least I go, knowing I fought to the best of my ability. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. I expect you'll... It was a fine journey we shared. Wherever your travels take you, I pray... Are you certain you're happy to have me along? Let us work together to honor the Arisen. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. I hope I can count on you in a... It seems Sir Roderick is the one to talk to. Shall we go and speak with him? Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose... Interested in my wares? Pleasure doing business. This way, if you please. <sighs> Here's a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Our road was a long one. But here we are at last. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim. Tr Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in the from the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my... Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh?
mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Trevo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. I can guide you there if you wish. Have our gratitude. Lead the way. Prize. If only to work so far away. Good day, sir. This looks as if twould fetch a hefty sum. Keeper pockets make for shallower troubles, they say. I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. Monsters and band... There's a ladder here. Aye, got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Much appreciated.
greatly appreciate the coin or two to soothe my throat with... and close and your focus apply to this tale of a giant who touches the sky our hero of forgotten by history There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Time was. You scarce saw any beastrums here in Vanworth. But that you'd think that'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of both race, at least I've ne'er beheld a human with a beastrum parent. Oh, I suppose if we keep mixing, someday our kingdom will end up with more beastrums than they've got all. I'll hold on to this. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It is here that the bodies of those who fall in... I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks among... Perhaps you've a moment to spare, an ear. Your patronage is much... A Chest. I'll examine its contents, shall I? Stone shard. Oh, how lucky we are to have stumbled across one. We ought to keep it with care lest we lose it.
Ho there. Faring all right? Have you need of me? Aye, what is it? <laughs> now, how best to proceed? That Sir Ludolf is a real lecher. Tell is, he keeps a dozen or so mistresses at once. And just the other day, he praised my wife for her beauty. You know what that means, don't you? He wants her for himself. Well, I tried to change the subject, divert his attention elsewhere. He'll find a way to get what he wants, even if it means taking it by... <clears throat> Vile reprobate. Sometimes this is the only place I can find peace. How are things? Say, have you been to Harp? It is a quaint little village down by the sea. Well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. I hear he sets out to sea on his boat day after day, only to be returned as if that wasn't queer enough. He's apt to talk your ear off about some world he believes. I cannot fathom his obsession. I suppose losing his family must have driven... anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. Perhaps it's time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. Here to ask all of me, are you?
can see. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. What brings you here? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Oh, are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought, tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you, when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regents. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has the central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's none would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then there is a problem however entry to such only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry if your majesty is to be counted among them you will need to attend to a number of tasks pray allow me to summarize them for you The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution for you. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, Your Majesty. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of sorry. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge. Tis our duty to bring the beasts low. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, you will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you. Yet I fear we have few... I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Though, I have yet to uncover so much. Would that I could undertake the task myself. But my station prohibits me from reckless action. 
What say you, Your Majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to Your Majesty. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermon to her own benefit. And many a time has the Magistrate refused her, for he is loyal to none but the spirit of the law. Our laws dictate that Your Majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, what say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the Magistrate's release? I prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee, be cautious. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen, do not forget that we work to serve В общем, вот так прошла серия. Мы получили задание от Брана, наконец-то добрались до столицы. Убедились, что мы все-таки не просто так, а мы настоящий воскресший и настоящий правитель. Ну а что будет дальше, узнаем в следующих сериях. Всем спасибо за просмотр, лайк, подписка, все дела и пока. Thank you.